Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and welcome to another tutorial. This week, how to make DIY decal softener. So, here's what you'd need. A container to hold your decal softener in. 8ml of isopropanol alcohol, 99% or IPA. And 2ml of enamel thinners. To mix your solution, take the thinners and pour it into your container. Once you've done that, then add the IPA. Then when you've done that, screw the lid on and give it a good old shake. Did you really think I was gonna leave it there? No, it's only 55 seconds long so far. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to do some testing. Now for the testing. I'm using Microset for both decals. My own solution is on the left, Microsol on the right, a pair of tweezers, two large decals from my 124th Mozzie build. This is my wax heater. This keeps the water warm for my decals. I will also be using cotton buds and brushes. So let me introduce you to Dorf. It's my test mule. I call it Dorf as the lettering on the side read that. Also, I know somebody whose nickname is Dorf. As you can see, I've glossed several parts of the wings to aid with the decal movement. I've chosen probably the hardest part there to place a decal, as it has the gun bulges as well. Let's crack on with this. I've, as you can see, I've dropped the decal into the water and I'm doing the microsole side first. That's the right side. So initially, I'm using Microset to set the decal in place. I'm sure this decal's got a life of its own. It keeps trying to get away. Here, I'm placing the decal in the most awkwardest place I could find. Then, I smooth it down as best I can. Now it's time to add the microsol. I'm covering the decal with as much microsol as I can get away with. This will hopefully allow the solution to melt the decal and allow it to penetrate the recesses and follow the contours of the bulge. Now we carry out the same process on the other side of the model. First we'll put the micro set on, which allows us to place the decal, and then we'll use my decal softener to see how that works against the microsol. Here I'm adding single drops of the solution as it's very strong. A word of caution here, do not go any higher than 20% of thinners as it will wreck your decals. Here I noticed that the decal was very quickly dropping into place as opposed to the microsol decal which was taking its time to conform to the bulge. I then decided to add a second coat of microsol. This I thought would be of a great help with the decal conforming to this surface. The reason I didn't add a second coat of my solution was because it had already conformed to the surface very nicely. Here I'm speeding up the video to about 100 times and there's a timer there that you can see. I'm going to come back and have a look at them in 30 minutes. Now for some music.
you go, that's 30 minutes. Now it's time to have a look and see what they look like. Let's have a look at the Microsoft one first. As you can see, this is nicely conformed, but it took two coats and has still left some wrinkles and it's taken about 30, 35 minutes to dry. I usually leave my Microsoft overnight so it settles. Now, looking at mine, what a difference. This is completely conformed to the bulge with only a slight wrinkle at the bottom and has dropped into all the depressions. I'm really pretty chuffed with how well this has come out. So there we have it, DIY decal softener. Remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modelers as possible, like the video and ring my bell. Remember, stay safe and keep on modeling.